wide. He's not. He's uh, kept that fairly conservative. He's going to cross the line. I think this will be the fastest time of the session so far. It's a 19.8. So Danny around the last corner. Hooks it in very nicely. Runs it out wide. Didn't use all of the track there, but... Uh, Still hooked it in towards the inside, and I think this will be the fastest lap of the session, and it is by oh, a is mile by when it's overcast, but I wouldn't necessarily expect to see that. I think it might be dry, and that means either soft, medium, or medium soft. Only one driver in the top 10 can be starting on mediums. That is McKenda on, and we are away. It looked like a good start from Adesi. Is he going to be challenging as they head down towards the first corner? Danny thought about trying to squeeze him off, but Adesi looks like he's got this. On the inside as they head towards turn one. Icewind as well on the inside of Etney. Still side by side as they go through. A little bit of a moment there for Adesi, but it looks like he's got the momentum on the outside and he does get the lead. As uh, a little bit of fighting towards the back, but here is Danny. Not close enough for a move on the inside as Etney does send one down the inside into the Roger Chicane and he gets that third place back as they head towards the exit. Justin having a good look. As being well. overtaken by Sonny on the exit of Ascari. Must have made a mistake there. It's not a spot you normally see an overtake, as we see here. Pretorius then getting the better of Tipsy on the exit what of Paragon. What happened to Ah, uh, he spun in the Lesmo and he hit the wall with his back. There shouldn't be any front wing damage, but he might have some damage at the rear. Out of Parabolica, and he's getting closer and closer and closer. And you can see him gaining on Adesi, and he pulls to the side, takes the outside of the track, and he's already passed way before the breaking zone with exactly the DRS. Left. Everyone else is... Uh, is fairly full. Ice wins is 60% or so. Oh, as Eddie makes a big mistake and loses a wheel into the wall. The exit of Lesmo 2. And Etney as a safety car. Etney with a very, very costly error. We've not seen him make too many of those, but he certainly made yeah, one. Yeah, absolutely right. And are we going to see some pit stops here? I suspect everyone will pit. And everyone in the oh, front. Oh, Victorious just passes Fox into the. Oh, I thought Fox was. Pissed. Yep. And uh, the medium runners have got a difficult decision to make because this isn't good timing for them. You can't put yeah. the soft tires on now, otherwise you won't get to the end of the race. So, the question is whether you pit and put hards on or whether you be in voice together. In fact, I'm fairly sure they will be in voice together. So it might be that McKenda releases Icewind at some point. With. Uh... Oh, it is. He what? just hits the wall. What on he earth happened up there? His tires. Adesi is out of the race. Adesi was warming his tires, and then behind them, Danny and Iceland, uh, Danny and McKenna were just trying to avoid him and had some contact uh, while doing so. But here we go. Fox is starting the race again, and it's three seconds for McKenna as well. <laughs> McKenna getting himself a three second penalty on the And we'll have a look. Uh, oh, as Meepo really struggles there to get that stopped. Yeah, so Jensen and on those soft tires definitely looking very fast. And Icewind and Justin battling up here towards the Roger chicane. They both got their battery. Justin at the moment. He's got a little bit of an advantage heading towards the braking zone. And it looks like he does get the position. So Justin passing Icewind on track. He has lost touch with Danny for the moment, but he should get that back. Those two swapping places. Icewind still out of DRS at the moment. He's got a, he's got a lap or so to find a little bit more. Uh, kind of taking the outside, uh, the, the inside line on Ocean yeah, Chief. Yeah, well, but decides better of it. Chief taking his line for turn one. So McKenna up to P5 on track. Uh, Justin's losing another place here, is he, to Pretoria? Nice as well, taking the inside towards Ascari. And it looks like he's passed as well. So Ocean Chief definitely dropping places here after he... Turn one, and we'll see if Fox decides to fight this. But uh, Tipsy managing to make it through. And down the inside he goes. With Chief not having DRS, which is very bad news for him, because Justin is also going to make his way past. And, uh, oh no, Chief does have DRS, but he's still going to be passed anyway by Justin, I think, down the inside into turn one. Uh, well, through the, through the first chicane, McKender just outbreaking Sonny into turn one. It wasn't quite enough for Sonny to fight back, but yeah, he definitely made an attempt to keep that he position. Justin behind for now, but he doesn't have the DRS yet. Yeah, so yeah. just uh, he... with the DRS assistance, just pulling yeah. away. Yeah, he, he didn't get DRS at all there, Ocean. He got uh, outfoxed, I think, by Jensen. So, uh, a lot around the outside go both Jensen and Justin on the inside of the right hand part. And almost, uh, almost went around. Managed to save it. And stays patient, at least for the time being, as we start. Oh, as Tipsy Pit. Doesn't mean we saw these two. Oh, as uh, both Fox and Copy going straight across, as Copy gets three seconds for corner cutting. Uh, Fox uh, 
falls down the field. Falls down the field. So uh, he lost quite a bit of time there. Didn't get a penalty, but lost a lot of time. And he's going to be passed as well by Pretorius. As uh, Mackenda now having a good look at Copy down the inside. Nothing doing there. The inside there. Yeah, and he made it and through. And he made it as well. Yeah, he made it through in Lesma 1. That was really impressive. Fox with the old tyres. But Jen was running into the back. Oh, oh as Fox, Fox again goes across, across the glass, yeah. Yeah, and... Uh, oh, oh, and he's the middle, yeah, Fox into oh, the wall he's and out of the race. Oh, and Pretorius, Justin also pitting from those mediums. Yeah, and it's only Danny who's not pitted. So Danny, well, of course, because Danny has that penalty. That, uh, Danny has five seconds, which he probably won't keep at the end of the race as long as he doesn't do another pit stop but uh, Copy, McKenda and Jensen all have legitimate uh, corner cutting penalties but Danny's gone already it was a very quick restart uh, yeah Danny catching Meepo napping certainly and uh, Copy uh, the problem for Danny is uh, Copy uh, the problem for Danny is the Copy probably is going to be having a good go here at his fellow countrymen down the inside with much better tyres, he should be able to break a lot later, and he is into turn one. Plenty of time to do it. Meepo's going to lose another place here, I think, to McKenda. Yeah, so those warm mediums really, they don't stand a chance against those Meepo first very nearly losing it as well out of the chicane. Oh as, yeah, uh, he might have overcome the tyres. And El Sunny down the inside as well, and Meepo oh, loses it into the wall! Meepo loses it into the wall! Is he out of the race as well? Yes, he is. Oh, and we're down to 10 runners. And oh, is there going to be yet another one. safety car with that accident? Safety car, full safety is. car. Yeah, that's and, the third uh, one. Oh, soft instead. Ocean Chief also into the pits. Yeah, it makes sense if you're on mediums to uh, go for the softs now because you can certainly get to the end of the race on the softs. Yeah, so Chief just getting some even more fresh medium. Uh, some even He's gone already. I have a feeling he's gone already. And uh, he did catch McKenna napping slightly, although not that much. Yeah, I think Justin was the one napping here. Icewind. Oh, Icewind! As they head up towards turn one, Chief uh, was also napping there. He lost uh, more than a second on that safety car restart. And everybody else just staying single file. Icewind really struggling on those mediums. He's using his battery a bit too much, I think. He's really struggling on the corner exits and now Danny's taking the inside on Tipsy Bob through Corva Grande and he's passed for P6 uh, racing here. Also very close Danny to Icewind, so Icewind on those mediums losing out again and Danny's pulling past him. Even yep, without the DRS he's got a huge pace advantage I think. And so McKendra Danny now takes the fastest lap and McKendra is trying to have a look down the inside of copy there into turn one but not quite enough in that alpha tower oh, and he is now it. gonna have a go down the inside into the roger chicane and uh makes it fairly comfortably i think copy didn't make it too too difficult for him although he might be able to attack here into lesma one but not quite close enough. will need to pass these cars on track and it's a question of whether he can do that in the eight laps that remain as they cross the line he'll have the benefit of drs but so will everyone else around him Sonny having a bit of a squabble there. We're going to have a go at Justin as well. Around the outside into turn one. Can he break later? He tries. And he oh, just he about can. makes, makes his, way. his way through. Oh, and now Sonny taking advantage of that as well. So Justin pushed a bit wide through the exit of the, uh, turn two there. And El Sonny just jumping on that opportunity and taking the outside of Curva Grande now. He's going to have the inside towards the chicane, though. If he breaks a bit later, he's going to be Bring passing McKendo, the fastest lap of the race, a 22-0. And here goes Danny to second yeah. place, yeah, very comfortably. And Danny, another fastest lap here. I think he's, yeah, he's definitely catching up to McKenna now. Yeah, he certainly is. Justin passes Sunny for P4 on track. He's actually P3 because of copies penalties. Yeah, using their battery, but Tipsy doesn't have much battery left. Pretorius on the inside now. Gonna have to be about who breaks later, and Pretorius now. Pretorius is already passed, so he takes P7 from Tipsy Bob, and now Jensen right behind Tipsy Bob is right on the back of McKendra again, and he's gaining and gaining, but also Copy behind him. Copy now managing to stay within the DRS window of Danny, so he's not quite out of the race. He'll yeah. be dropping down at the end of the race. Four laps to go as they cross the line. Oh, Icewind spins! Icewind spins in Parabolica. Being last place now. Yeah, that's the end of Icewind's challenge, unfortunately. 
so around he goes in Parabolica. Doesn't lose a wheel, but uh, loses. Well, he's going to come into the pitch as well. He doesn't have much battery left, so he's just letting Jensen pull past. But now and he's going to get the DRS down the main straight. Oh. And as one Ferrari passes, the other one does as well. Danny takes the lead with three laps to go. As well, Danny takes the lead with three laps to go. And he's going to very comfortably win his third race in a row. Justin, Justin, Justin into passes positions Coppy. as well. Yeah, Copy yep. just lost the DRS there on Danny, and that was enough for Justin to make uh, Copy, of course, is going to drop down by the end of the race. El Sonny is going to keep his position if he can stay out of Pretorius. So, yeah, very going to be very happy about that DRS right now. He's gaining a lot on that main straight, and that means Pretorius isn't going to be able to pass him. Meanwhile, Sonny goes past Copy on track. It looks like he does want to do it on the main straight, and uh, El Sonny seems to be responding with some battery of his own, but DRS will mean that it is, is a straightforward move. As oh, Justin talking about space more as well. Yeah. Definitely taking a very nice victory here with everything that the race was trying to throw at him with safety cars and all. He managed to keep it in that first place towards the end and making some nice passes. So I think well. he might have actually run out of fuel. He's talked to me about the uh, about that this week that he's really struggling to keep the fuel in the car. Oh, Icewind's going slow as well. Icewind's slowing down to let Ocean Chief take that position. That fourth position at the end of the race, and he's. He's got a very good strategy. He got a bit lucky with the mediums at the race start, but decided to stay out on them. So um, he was able to make use of the safety cars, going for some softs towards the end. Uh, um, and too many races this season, but uh, decides he wants some of Monza and ends up in P3. And that is our Italian Grand Prix. It was a fun one.